Hi there, Craig Hocknell here, Director of Instruction at Glen Wilds Golf Club in Park City, Utah. We're here on the 17th hole, beautiful feature hole, water cascading down through the creek, down into a lake just in front of the green. Uh, as you can see some, to my left here, we have a bunker, and this is a very typical hole location uh, right here in the front half of the right section of the green. <clears throat> it's a little bit more tricky when that hole location is over in the back left, uh, but a lot of our members, and myself included, will hit our shots just about right here, just off to the right side. Now, the wind, as you can see from the flag, is actually blowing left to right on this hole and the tee box is quite elevated it's about a 10 to 20 yard drop depending on the tee that you choose so you're up on the elevated tee blocked by the wind and the wind starts moving can be quite aggressively from left to right so a lot of times you're aiming right here at the green you're kind of fudging a little bit to the right because you don't want to go in that bunker or the water hazard so the wind and your shot pushes you over here to the hill. So I'm going to show you three different shots with three different clubs. My options are my 21 degree driving iron, which you can use a hybrid. I have my A wedge or gap wedge and my putter. So I'm going to show you each of the three shots down onto the green. We have about a four or five foot elevation change. We got some rough, a little bit of fairway, and then the green. So first one would be the logical choice uh, would be the A wedge, but when the hole is located pretty close to the edge, I cannot fly my lob wedge necessarily onto the green and expect it to hold. So what I need to do is land it just short in the fringe. So that's the tricky choice. Where do I land it? So in this case, I'm going to land it a little bit into the upslope and then have it trickle onto the green. Uh, main thing here with your setup, Make sure you play that ball back in your stance and make sure that as you practice your stroke, your stroke continues down the hill. A lot of times folks will get in here, take a normal stance, they'll come through and then they'll blade it. Because of the slope of the hill, you wanna keep your club moving down that slope. So I'll show you what that looks like with the A wedge. Ball sitting down a little bit in the rough, play it back. I'm leaning a little bit left on the slope of the hill. And then basically like a putting stroke, I'm gonna keep that club moving down the hill with enough energy to land it over the rough and into the fringe and then have it bobble onto the green. So let's see how that looks. Setting up just a little right because it's gonna break right to left. Back of the stance, nice putting stroke. Landing just short, rolling onto the green and turning right to left. So that was a pretty good shot with the A wedge. Now we're going to try it with the putter. This has loft. We're jumping it through the air. This doesn't have any loft, especially my putters that have zero degrees loft. And what I'm going to do is putt it. <clears throat> now, if I have a little bit of nerves in me and I feel like that chip won't play out well, or if I'm not exactly sure how the ground's going to react, I'm just going to go ahead and putt it. Basically, all of your setup is the same. Even out of the rough, I'll, I'm going to take this with about the same amount of energy as that A wedge. Main thing again, leaning left, keep my putter moving down the hill. And really it is just your best guess. You're just trying to figure out how hard do I need to hit this putt. So I'll show you what that looks like. Again, aiming just a little bit right, setting up, hitting it with the putter. Okay, I didn't quite get it to the green. It did get a little bit snagged. I was trying to leave my ball sitting down to give it a, an accurate representation. So the putter got stuck. Let's see what the 21 degree looks like. Okay, so it does have loft, 21 degrees, but the main purpose of it is just like a putter, maybe jump this first part of the rough so that it lands in the fairway grass and rolls down the hill. I'm gonna set up to it just like my putter. I'm gonna take my putting grip, play the ball in the back of my stance, stroke it down the hill with the added length obviously this club's much longer than a putter with the added length and the loft i should be able to get a nice little pop a nice little jump through the air whereas the putter um, when it struck the ball 
the ball started getting stuck in the rough right away. So let's see what the 21 degree hybrid or 21 degree driving iron looks like. <clears throat> Setting up, putting basically like a putting stroke, aiming a little right, and just figuring out how hard to swing. Okay, that was a little firmer. I managed to jump it almost out of the rough. I still caught a little bit of that rough because I don't have much loft here, 21 degrees. But because of the added length and just jumping it enough, it was able to trickle down onto the green uh, within the length of the flag stick from the hole. So there's a few different options for you whenever you're trying to figure out exactly what club to use. Obviously, number one, use the club that you're most used to using. Um, you can always default to the putter. Even though that didn't get on the green, it's still only about 15 feet from the hole with the putter. I'll, I'll be out of two putt from there, no problem. Um, but get out and practice, try some different clubs, see if the A wedge helps you, see if the 21 degree helps you next time you're out on the course.